stunning loss, actor James Gandolfini dying at the age of 51. Fans across the country and his friends in Hollywood are remembering him. Gandolfini, a Jersey boy, the son of an Italian immigrant who, as Tony Soprano, made a mark few others could on television. He died while on a father-son trip to Italy with his young boy, who had to make that call for help. Tonight here, what Italian doctors are now telling our team on the ground in Rome, and ABC's Lama Hassan is there. It was a father-son vacation. The New Jersey born and raised star with his 13-year-old son, Michael, who just graduated junior high in Rome, exploring their Italian roots. The actor, who was to be honored at a film festival, seen by tourists enjoying a meal with his son at an outdoor restaurant. But last night at 10 p.m., Gandolfini reportedly becomes ill in his room at the Excedra Hotel in central Rome. His son calls the hotel staff, who rush to the room and call for an ambulance. The paramedics administer first aid at the scene before racing him to the hospital. At 10.40, Gandolfini arrives at the hospital. We spoke with the director of the emergency department. He says Gandolfini was in cardiac arrest when he arrived. They struggle to save him for 40 minutes in the ambulance and at the hospital. But at around 11 p.m., the actor is declared dead. And David, those questions about what caused Gandolfini's death, what caused him to go into cardiac arrest at just the age of 51, will begin to be answered tomorrow when the autopsy is due to take place.